Welcome back, I'm Nicole BW, and this is Infinity Evolved Expert Mode on the FTOG server, and it's been a little bit since I've played. Oh my gosh. So yesterday, I'm sorry I didn't put out a video, but real life situation took a hold of my day, and you know, we all know real life comes first, and I would have much rather been playing Minecraft, trust me. Uh, so, assembly table. I actually got that done. Uh, I did it off camera. Shame on me. Shame, shame on me. Uh, I had enough stuff for uh, two lasers. I talked about that at the end of my last Infinity uh, video. Yeah, video episode, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I went ahead and made those. You can look up the recipes in any eye, although I know some of you don't. Uh, assembly table uh, kind of complicated but not too bad uh, for me right now luckily I won the death contest so we had plenty of diamonds yay plenty of diamonds okay so I just have this one survivalist generator uh, making power that is not good I it makes uh, I don't know five RF a tick yeah, that's that's not great. 5RF a tick, no. Uh, I also made a, a capacitor, so if we look up MV, uh, we can look at the capacitors. Pretty cheap. Uh, treated wood planks, a block of redstone, uh, lead, electrum. I accidentally made electrum in uh, the smeltery when I was melting some things. So I already had that stuff, so I thought I would go ahead and make one. Uh, so that way I'm not going directly from the survivalist generator to the lasers. Ugh, that would be awful. Uh, so we have the assembly at table. I updated my goal sheet. Uh, so what we need to do is these things in uh, this order. I put it in this order because I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. Uh, what I want to do is make water wheels. And my idea is for now, in the beginning, I want to make an, uh, like a couple three layer water wheels for the machine room. Uh, that should get us close to somewhere between 80 and 100 RF a tick per water wheel, which is three wheels together, I think. Uh, and then uh, if we get a couple of those, that's a couple RF, a couple hundred RF a tick. Uh, maybe, maybe not <laughs> between 150 and, and 200 RF a tick, uh, which is good enough. Uh, so I want to be able to do that. So the water wheels call for an iron rod, I believe. Uh, wheel, the water wheels. Uh, yes. So we are going to need an iron shaft. Uh, so we need a metal former. So that's what is next for us. So metal former, former. So that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, so we need to get some uh, rubber smelting up. We can use the rubber bars, which I have. Uh, I planted some rubber trees for a little bit in there so we're gonna need six of these smelt it up we'll just throw them in the furnace real quick uh, we'll grab one of these and yeah yay okay so there's that we are going to need a lot of iron this is going to be bad okay all right uh, where's my stuff okay so we have a hammer well, we need, okay, let's just look at the coils. We are going to need copper cables, which means we need copper plates, which we can use the hammer for, and a cutter. A cutter takes iron plates and iron. Uh, so we're going to need a lot of copper as well. So we'll grab that. Uh, okay, so the metal former will cut down on how much uh, iron we need. Uh, they will make the plates out of just one iron ingot, so it will be a lot cheaper to do the metal former. We need to get that as soon as possible. Okay, we need 
three of these coils, which takes eight, so that's what, 27? Holy cow, okay, so uh, that would be <laughs> divided by two would be 14. All right, so we need 14 plates uh okay we need we only need oh wait wrong one uh i'm getting ahead of myself okay so 14 of these plates oh we are so gonna kill our hammer uh can it make it through is what i want to know all right so we're gonna need that and uh let's see we'll put those up there uh, and iron. Okay, so we have three of these coils now. Yay, we'll put them right here. We can put this down here. Okay, so we need a toolbox. Okay, a chest. We can get a chest, not a problem. We are going to have to hammer bronze plates. So we need to make bronze, which is uh, something I didn't think of. Three copper and one tin will make bronze. Okay. Uh, three copper and one tin. We are probably going to need a lot of bronze. What do you think? Okay. So three copper and uh, one tin. We'll do that. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's do that. We'll put these away. Okay, so that's gonna take bronze. Not prepared. That's okay. Uh, what do they say? Expert mode. <laughs> so this is gonna take the iron chip set and iron plates. Okay, so I made the iron chip set already because it. I am not. I don't have a lot of power going to this. So that's why I made the iron chips set ahead of time because that would have taken forever. Uh, the iron chip set is uh, just iron and redstone, but it takes 200,000 RF at five RF a tick. That took me forever. I so need to get water wheels. This is just killing me. Okay, so we need eight, uh, eight of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and an iron chip set. Okay, so we got that. And then we need an electric circuit. So we're going to need an iron plate. And we need six of these. So we need a couple more. That's okay. We just need one. There we go six of those we're almost done with the hammer can we make it probably because i don't think we need any more uh oh no we need an iron one don't we uh we do let me double check okay yeah we do wow uh and a couple pe pieces of redstone all right there's that and then we're waiting on the bronze. Yes. Yes. Let's go check. Is it uh, 20 ingots? We need some. So let's start pouring this. Hopefully these can get melted. We got plenty of iron there. Keep an eye on this. Oh, we got 30 more. Um, how many are we going to need? Probably a lot. I forget how many we need. Uh, we need two of these, so 10. So we need like 20. Ingots. All right, there's 10 left. Okay. We should be able to do this. I'm a little concerned. I don't want it to start pouring out the tin. That's why I'm kind of keeping an eye on it. 
Uh, we should be fine. Hopefully. There we go. Oh yeah, we should be, we should be fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Let's turn that off uh, until it gets all melted and mixed. Okay, so we need 10 of those. Oh, are we going to get... We have seven uses left. Are we going to have to make another hammer? Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Okay. Oh, that's bad. All right. We need... Oh. Uh, treated sticks and iron. Oh, this. I really did not want to have to make another one, but that's okay. In the long run, it's not that bad. I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, three, nine, ten. Yay. Okay. So, what did we need in the center? We needed chests. Okay. We need two chests. We don't even have enough wood for two chests. Oh my gosh. Uh, give me those. Give me that. One there. All right. Toolbox apparently don't stack. And metal former. Yay. Okay. What does it take to make a dolly? A dolly. It takes reinforced wheels. Okay. What is a reinforced wheel? It takes reinforced metal. How do you make? You have to make stabilized metal. What? All right. Well, that's. It's going to be a while before we can move this, apparently. So let's make sure we put it somewhere where we are happy with it. Boom. Right there. Good enough. Uh, good enough. There we go. Yay. And it's powered. Oh, so good. So good. Feels so much better. Now we're not wasting a whole bunch of iron and stuff when we make make that okay so hmm we can actually put these away we don't need them for now let's put them uh, i don't want to put them there let's put them in here i guess uh i grabbed some glowstone and some redstone from the town hall they're getting a lot from the witch farm so they had like over a thousand blocks of each when I took it a couple days ago. So I don't feel too guilty. A uh, rock crusher. Oh, we could do the water wheel, but what do we need? I'm going to have to figure out the size. I don't even have a place dug out for that. Okay, so a rock crusher. I have no idea how to make a rock crusher. I don't even know what I'm doing for a rock crusher. Uh, well, shoot. You know what? I'm going to have to look that up <laughs> because I know nothing about immersive engineering. Uh, I know, I don't even know if the rock crusher that suggested is like IC2 or immersive engineering or I have no idea. Uh, so I've been making extra creosote oil because I'm trying to make uh, blocks of steel there uh we have that going down i put lights in the stairway uh and that goes down we'll go down in a second i want to show you what is up above i just dug this out this morning 
and it's going to be my farm area and it's so neat because uh, I'm going to have this covered out. It's going to go out farther and then it's going to be covered over so that way, you know, mobs aren't dropping on my head. I'm kind of scared that mobs are going to drop on my head, but I'm going to have this come over. The ceiling is going to be up farther, a lot farther. Ooh, that scared me. The <laughs> sound of walking in the dirt. I'm freaked out now. Uh, and it's going to, yeah, it's going to be up a lot farther, probably maybe to that level will be the lowest part. And it's going to be a lot more detailed than I normally make for ceilings. It's going to kind of have this wave pattern that, that it goes back and forth or uh, up and down like a like jumping sort of thing and then it's going to go up high uh, towards the end and then it's going to slope down and this is going to go out probably another 20 blocks maybe uh, but it's going to go up really high and then out and it's going to be all glass once we reach past this uh, so that way it's nice and open uh, and it looks really good. But these are pretty much the only farms that I'm going to do as of now. Uh, I might extend the walls out. I could have uh, rooms going off to the side. I'll have machines here. Uh, hopefully making, automating uh, food processing. But if you've seen my Hoarders Delight series, you know that I've been working on that for months <laughs> with it. So I already know how to do that. Uh, we have Agricraft, I believe. And yeah, uh, unfortunately, there's no metal seeds. Nothing that makes redstone or metal or anything like that. That sucks. Uh, so we have to <laughs> do that the hard way. Uh, but I will have all of these plants and stuff. Uh, and then we'll have some plants for, uh, automating probably, we'll probably do chicken pot pies. Uh, do those have, cause those are fairly easy to make, uh, the chicken pot pies, unless they change the recipe now, uh, cause we can do the dough. We just need potato, carrots, and tofu, and then uh, we need wheat for the flour. Uh, we won't do rice, but we could do rye, or we could do potatoes for flour, and then just do extra potatoes, but wheat will be fine. Uh, so wheat, potato, carrots, and tofu, uh, and then we can automate those and use culinary generators to uh, power the uh, machines that we need up here which is kind of cool and uh, and then we can do Miss Craft flowers up here and stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode today it seems like it's a little bit shorter than normal uh, oh yeah I said I was gonna go downstairs um, and show you my mind and how I do it. I got my mind design off of uh, Wild on uh, Twitch from, he's in the Build Guild. So uh, this is how he did it and I thought it was really neat and I liked the way he did it. Uh, use your hammer and hammer out and then, um, here you can see it better. Ooh, why, that one's one too far. Yikes. Where's my, uh, give me this. Uh, if you go four in, yeah, that was one too far. You put a torch in the center and if you go four in to the wall, you will only need one torch to light up this whole area and then go to the next area and do that. Um, all the way down. If you go one farther, you notice that there were red spots. Uh, so if you look on the mini map in the corner, uh, or if we bring up the big map and look at the cave, uh, you can see that I did that. And then you go over so that uh, you're, you, it lines up on the other side. I had to stop here because I ran into a big lava uh, thing. So, and you just keep doing that. And then I can go this direction or I can go over here and do this as well. Um, but it's a good way to do it. And you can use your hammer 
and excavator to do it and you use less torches you get to see all of the area you can even go up above uh, and do it or you can go down below and do it but every single block is noticed so you never really have to dig into the walls too much uh, there was a whole bunch of obsidian so I mined most of it out um, you never really have to dig into the walls like there's this wall but two blocks over is the the other area so you just have to mine what is on the walls and then just cover them back over and all is good and I like it I like how he did it it's quick it's easy it uses less torches so you don't have to worry about running out of torches all the time oops I went one too far and as long as you don't get lost you're good and uh, yeah so I've been using my stone hammer which runs out a lot but I'm, I'm not too concerned with it for now it works uh, until I can get something better but for now I don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff so I'm very far behind on uh, tech stuff I feel like uh, because I, I just I have a lot of stuff going on IRL there was packs um, yeah so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you guys think uh, let me know about the rock crusher if you know what it is or talking or you know what mod it's from um, I have a sheet that I got uh, that was also in the first episode I believe I put it in the description of uh, the progression through this mod pack because it is so difficult uh, but oops uh, yeah the like if we do um, this I think it shows yeah the rock crusher what is this what mod is that what mod is that I don't know. Is it Railcraft? I bet it's Railcraft. And we need a block of steel and pistons. I bet that's what it is. And you get four and it needs to be three by two by two. I'll have to uh, play around with that because I don't know the... Yeah, I'll have to play around with that. Plus, I need to dig out an area for the water wheels. So I need to go out farther that direction because uh, I want the water wheels on that back side. And I think that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.